All right, great. We're here at Melody Ranch Studios with the Quavy Sisters Band. Hi. Actually, just the sisters. <laughs> and uh, you guys are here for your fourth appearance at the Santa Clarita Cowboy Festival and yes. just got off the stage. We did. Yeah, it was fun. We, it was we're really so fun. glad to be back. Yeah. yeah. Now, you've been uh, really busy the last couple of years since you've been here last. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about this last tour that you were on. Oh, mm. Don't Fence Me In was a lot of fun. It was a tour put on by the National Council for, Council for Traditional Arts. And uh, there was an Indian powwow band that was on there. There was um, a Tex-Mex Conjunto band, uh, Los Tex Maniacs. There was us, there was Wiley um, Gustafson. And we just had so much fun. We were on the road about three and weeks. Paul yeah, Paul Zerziski was on there. We were on the road with them about three weeks and we just had a blast getting oh, to know yeah. the other musicians and learn about their styles and the way they do their music. And it was, it was a great experience. It was a representation of what Western music is today. Yeah. So contemporary. What are conti yeah, exactly. Contemporary Western mm -hmm. bands playing. And uh, we started out in Washington State, went down to Oregon, and then made our way down the coast of California. Now you got, you did get to play some places that you hadn't played before, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we did. one of my favorite performing arts centers. Yeah, it was, was in Napa. And, I mean, oh, oh Napa that was really fun. That's beautiful. And we saw Red Blitz for the first time. Oh. Actually, none of us. See, a bunch of the bands were from other parts of the country, so most of us had never seen Redwood. So they stopped the bus, we all got out, and like touched it, took pictures. <laughs> it was That's fun. fun. That's great, like the first time at the beach, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. it was. That, was. that was like <laughs> the same experience. Now, you guys also, you went to Europe a couple years ago, and then you just went to uh, to uh, Scotland yeah, recently. Scotland. You were telling telling some stories from the stage that were pretty funny. Um, I'm, my family's actually from Scotland, so really? that's very cool. So, what was it like over there? I've never been there. It was cold. <laughs> we were playing. We were there in January. Mm -hmm. So, and so I think how many how many gigs did you play? And were there were they festival gigs or? It was what? a festival. It was one festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a big festival that goes on for about three weeks, and it's called Celtic Connections. And lots of bands go over there from the U.S. to showcase. It's open to the public. But also a lot of promoters come to it from summertime festivals. So um, it kind of acts as a showcase and a festival all in one. It is for mm -hmm. summertime events. So hopefully we will um, get to go back and do some other events around Europe and, you know, spin off from playing at that festival. Yeah. Now that was, that was kind of, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I, I just thought this was really, really neat. But that last song we played, or the song before last that we played called Flowers of Edinburgh, that fiddle tune, we actually took the train from Glasgow where we were staying, where we were playing, and um, went out there to Edinburgh, and that place is enchanting. Oh, it was amazing. And we saw the castle, and I was like, this song was, is about this place, so <laughs> it makes it more fun to play the fiddle tune now that we've actually been, been there, there, seeing the castle, <laughs> and it's, it was really cool. <laughs> it, was, it was really fun. Well, now back in the states, uh, you, you guys have been working on a, a third album for some time now. Yeah. <laughs> Previewed a few of the songs from uh, from it uh, today, uh -huh. yeah. and uh, so what's the uh, what's the status of that? Are you actually able to get into the studio and get some tracks down, or how's it going? You know, we're going to go in the studio in about a month and and sit down and record it. We've been working on material and thinking about it, so we kind of like to get everything all ready. Some bands like to go in the studio and kind of create things while they're there. But we kind of like to do all that beforehand. <laughs> At least for this album. At least for this album, we're going to do that. That's kind of our vision. Yeah. Well, you've been road testing the songs for some time yeah, now, we right? Have. <laughs> yeah. So, what? Tell me. Uh, tell us uh, some of the song titles that are going to be on it. I think "It's a Sin to Tell a Lie" is a is a definite one that's going to be on there. We've had requests from our shows. People say, "Oh, do you have that one recorded?" So we'll have "It's a Sin," and I know oh, another yearning. one is "Yearning." Um, be my life's companion. A lot of folks. Ask us if we've got that one, and we have so a long list, more songs than we'll be able to actually fit on the CD. Probably Jesse Polka and but, some fiddle tunes. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll have to do some bonus tracks available on yeah, online yeah. only, uh, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Release some singles. That's a yeah, good with idea. like B sides and stuff. <laughs> There you go. There you go. It would be fun to make a record. I think it would be one fun. day. Yeah, they make some forty fives. There are bands that do that. Mm -hmm. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, vinyl is not dead. Vinyl is coming or, back. Or thirty threes. I've seen some new thirty threes. Rounder. Mm -hmm. Wow, rounders can get one. Yeah, um, I wanted to ask you about your playing. 
I've, I've, I've noticed over the years that I've seen you, I see you like every two years. So I, I can kind of see a, 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 a jump every time I see you in the level and the, and the, the, the ability and the skill set that you guys have. Thanks, I'm glad. Thanks, I'm glad it gets worse every two years. <laughs> well, I, it, it seems like you've been working, you've been working on um, stuff. I, I hear a little bit less unison playing and more harmony playing. Is that something you guys have been working on or is that just... Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, good am I misperce <laughs> misperceiving or... No, I mean, that is, that's a good observation. I'm not sure. It could have been the set list we played. Today. Maybe some yeah, of the songs we been. just kind of pulled out. I mean, I think we're singing more, um, we're singing more leads, you know, and um, trying to do solo more solo songs, parts. kind of mixing things up between the three part harmony and trying to add in, you know, different styles. Um, yeah, just kind of working on the craft of it all, mm -hmm. on the singing and playing. And, We've yeah. really been into, really been into trying to branch out with our singing more, so we've been having a lot of fun trying new things with that. Mm -hmm. So it's been a great learning experience for us. Yeah. Very good, very good. Well, now you guys are uh, uh, big fans of uh, Marty Stewart. He's a big fan of yours. Yes. Now, <laughs> you played the Opry with him uh, this last year, didn't you? Oh. Or, or was that two years ago? It's been a little while. He had us on the Opry, which was such a big thrill. We played the Ryman. Yeah. And was that our first time on the Ryman? I believe I think so. First time on the Opry, on the Ryman, yeah. Yeah, the Opry at the Ryman. So that was so cool that he had us out, and uh, we just did a show with um, Marty Stewart and the fabulous Superlatives last weekend down in South Texas, and they were just Gosh, killing it. Show was it was so inspiring. We had a great time. I was. We sat on the front row and screamed and hollered and blew our voices out. <laughs> It was awesome. <laughs> well, you, was you, awesome. You, both of you share kind of the same audiences. You know, the, the, his audience is really like you guys and vice versa. We'd like to think so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Now, um, riding with, uh, or, I'm sorry, I'm going to, I messed this up. Riding with Bob. A ride with Bob. A ride yeah. with Bob, yes. Uh, the Bob Wills production. Have you been uh, doing any of those gigs recently? or? Um, we played it. A run of the, we did a run of the play between Christmas and New Year's in Texas, kind of Dallas area, Richardson, and um, it was really good. They had a bunch of shows, and some were sold out right around New Year's. And then they New did Year's a, show was a, lot a New of fun. Year's party afterwards. Oh, so an after party! So we oh. played, and then the Sleep at the Wheel played, and it was really fun. It was a great party. It they got all of the cast. Rung in the New Year. I know, we got all of the cast to come up on stage and there's like this funny little silly dance that everybody does backstage. And so Ray says to all of us, he says, when it's when we do the song, he's like, I want everybody up on stage to do the dance. And we, we a couple of the actors made up this really funny dance to Cherokee Made. And so I can't do it because it's only me, but we, it's really fun to do it with the whole cast. So we got up on stage and uh, the whole audience just thought it was hilarious. So it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. Sounds like you're having too much fun. <laughs> it it's been like really busy, like it. good year so far. It really has. It's only April, so I know. We've got so a long time. Uh -oh. Oh, go. yeah. What would it be? <laughs> it wouldn't be California without traffic, right? That's yeah. true. Exactly. <laughs> so fourth time at Melody Ranch. We're going to see you again in I a couple so. of years, or? I hope so yes, we love coming out here. We do. Very good. Now, let the folks know how they can find out where you're going to be playing and how they can keep track of when your next album is going to be out. Yes. Plug the website. Our website is quabysistersband.com and Quaby is spelled Q-U-E-B-E and um, there's links to our Facebook page on there and our Twitter page and YouTube channel. So y'all check that out and we will have you know, all of our, our new CD hopefully out coming up soon and it'll be on iTunes as well. So we'll probably send out emails. People yes. can join up our on our mailing list on our website and um, we will send out the word when the <laughs> CD's out, probably in the summer. And um, so yeah, we'd love for folks to check out the website. Well great, we really appreciate your spending a couple of minutes with me and uh, have a great trip. We'll see you next time. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you, Thanks Stephen. Hi y'all, we're the Quaby Sisters Band. I'm Grace. I'm Sophia. And I'm Hulda, and you're on People's Place, AM 1220 KHTS.